Okay, so let's jump into this video and start talking about our closed loop Lambda control they're gonna be working with in our PC Link software. So the closed loop Lambda control is gonna allow us to take a measured wideband input. So whether we're gonna be using the onboard wideband or we've wired in an external wideband to our Link EMS, we're gonna be able to take that measurement compare it against our target air fuel table. It's gonna be a three-dimensional table. It's gonna be looking up a target air fuel based on different load and engine RPM points. It's gonna compare the difference and it can figure out how much it needs to correct the fuel by to go and get us back to that target amount. So we're gonna be finding it's gonna have a closed loop proportional integral or derivative or PID style control and it's gonna be a correcting itself in this closed loop status. So we can utilize this for tuning or for long-term control. So once we shut the laptop step away, it's gonna be applying changes to our fuel table as it's going and running in different kind of conditions. So whether the elevation changes or the air temp changes, it can go in and make small adjustments. So we're gonna be going in in this video, exploring how it all works, as well as setting up our dedicated page so we can go most efficiently tune our closed loop Lambda. So without further wait, let's jump into the video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at how to set up our closed loop Lambda control for our Link EMS. Uh, it's gonna be a really useful feature. We can utilize it for doing our fuel table tuning as well as keeping our engine consistent year round. So um, the first thing we need to do is create a dedicated page. So we're gonna go ahead, right click up top here, new page, I'm gonna be typing in closed loop tuning. And now we have our blank page to fill out. So the first thing we're gonna do here under ECU settings, we're gonna go under fuel, and then under closed loop lambda. We're gonna be finding we have this closed loop lambda set up here with the wrench. We're gonna double click that, and it's gonna open up our setup window. We're gonna bump this into the corner here. So what we're gonna be doing now is looking at uh, the setup, all the different setup configuration uh, data that we have to program for our closed loop to work. Now I'm gonna hold off on going over all the details here until we go in and set up the rest of our page layout here um, it's going to be much easier to explain this um, as we go on. So I'm going to be expanding here uh, the closed loop lambda gain table. We have to expose this. Um, let's actually go back here. Let's lock this table so it doesn't open up uh, into this actual window here. Double click, let it open up in another window. 